Hi, my name is Anand. In this cyber forensics module, I will be demonstrating about this log capturing and event correlation. Capturing and analyzing log files is important to know the security posture of the computer as they hold valuable information about each and every action carried out on the computer including user activities. So the objective of this lab is to provide forensic investigator knowledge of capturing and analyzing the logs of the network and other responsibilities. The aim is to capture and analyze security event logs, application event logs, system event logs and other logs of Microsoft Windows operating system. So in this first my experiment, we will be doing about capturing and analyzing the logs of a computer using GFI event manager tool. GFI event manager automatically processes and archives logs collecting the information you need to know about the most important events of the computer. The URL is uh, gfi.com events manager. Once you click that, once you click this, 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 this is the GFI main page. You can try events for free. Once you do that, once you click this, you get, uh, I mean, uh, a free trial with your business email. So I have already uh, registered and I got a mail from uh, uh, GFI. You can see this. And I'm you get a 30 day trial of uh, GFI event uh, manager. Okay, and also you can download. I have already downloaded. This is about 230 MB. Okay, so I just try to install this. Just install. Okay, download and install. We need a .NET also along with this. Let it download from the website. Okay, I think uh, the .NET uh, framework has been downloaded. .NET is getting installed. So this will take a couple of minutes. So successfully installed. Okay. So this is also installing uh, this is a Microsoft SQL Server objects. So the license key is uh, given by the uh, through email for a 30 day. So once you are given the license key, you can uh, give your. I can give my passcode. And say next. So this is the installation procedure of GFI Events Manager 13. So provide all the access. Okay. So start the database server. Okay. So this is the main menu of uh, GFI Events Manager. Okay. Process events, local computer, local domain. I don't have domain here. I'll say process events. So now you can see, I mean, so this GFI event manager, yes, you have multiple options. You can create, browse the events and generate reports and also you can customize, you can uh, your own alerts, etc. many other things. Which, so let me start with the browse events. Okay, just click this browse events. You, you're already into events, all events. You can expand this one. I'm closing this. Okay, so you have different type of events. You can see Windows events. So all the uh, events are uh, shown in the status with event ID, date and also uh, the importance of that particular ID. Okay, I can say critical ID, critical uh, windows critical. So these are all various uh, uh, critical events and the event description is shown. You can select an event. I mean with the event ID, you can see the details about the complete, uh, what criticality is like this. Okay. So this is about this uh, event browser, okay. And uh, now I can show you uh, this general status means it will uh, show the activities, of the logs, various kind, all logons or success failed logons for the last seven days or for last twenty four hours, new events. 
you can see all those things and you can even have it in a graph you can even have it in a graph okay like i can show this is general you can select the type of graphs also and uh, if there are any alerts which are there it can be customized uh, it will be displayed across okay so statistics also are there uh, for the entire uh, i mean it is still coming across the events which are there so you have uh, various kind of strategy and you can uh, configure your alerts also you can see this event sources from in different servers or workstations you can configure accordingly based on the infrastructure which you have okay now the most important thing is the reporting uh, reporting is uh, you can create a report so the report name maybe i can say as my name okay and uh, you can even define uh, the layout i mean headings are ex add existing column uh, whatever it is and say uh, where do you want to store okay so existing column all what all uh, the columns which you need to have in this uh, report so and you can select all and say okay so all these things will be in the report template path i can say on my desktop four and six it's okay and say open So apply and uh, you can say charts what type of chart you want you say graphical uh, beginning of the report or ending of the report you can define a pie chart bar or something schedule uh, you can even perform i mean uh, uh, monthly or weekly or a, at a specified time okay uh, the target is your uh, destination where you want to place it uh, into this uh, where you want to get the report okay here i say this is column 6 i mean name or you can define any other things which are there okay and say apply yes and say okay so the report will be generated based on the schedule which you have mentioned so the other important areas where you can uh, perform activities is like from the event sources you can define all the infrastructure which you have of course you need to configure each and everything with including your login activities and uh, you can define the rules also or define the define the rules like how you can create a new folder and uh, specify a rule you can specify a rule uh, based if the rule is matching then it collects the, uh, the activity so this is active monitoring you can define even uh, the cpu alerts or disk alerts or maybe even a ping or maybe a disk like uh, if i can say like if the disk is coming to a uh, disk means a partition coming to about 50 percent uses then you can create an alert like cpu uses if i click double click uh, i can customize i can customize the properties maybe 50 or if my cpu uses is for continuously about 80 percent i mean 80 percent uses then create an alert you can say test an alert so it shows like this the alert comes like this or maybe any other maybe any other just say this uh, okay uh, and also the ping computer if the ping is absent then automatically the alert will be generated so this is again a very very important in the corporate world especially uh, to create an alerts and which can be monitored which can be monitored so physical uh, disk also you can create a part target computers whichever computer which you want and you can schedule every five minutes or 15 minutes or maybe daily ones or something like that okay so these are uh, some of the important functions which are inbuilt so you can even uh, uh, basically uh, import and export the configurations which are there so here uh, once all the settings has been done you can uh, save these uh, configurations so that it can be loaded even uh, at any point of time so this is the file which is there so i can say configuration backup say save next 
so you can export the following configurations all i am including all so that select all and say next finish so this uh, prepares configuration exported successfully so basically one should understand about how to uh, basically view the status i mean event uh, log and etc general okay you see now there is some activities which are coming across which are activities coming across. so like all the event sources and event logs of course and then uh, uh, event processing rules creation of rules and monitoring so all these three areas which you have covered and also how to create a report so this is all about this uh, jfi event manager 13 please explore a little bit more so that you will get more and more uh, information and uh, this is considered to be it's, uh, event management is considered to be the most uh, a continuous job uh, and activity which is uh, very essential okay uh, that's all about this uh, gfi events manager uh, so the second one uh, investigating system log data using uh, xpo log center suite tool so this help organizations meet security policies and ensure compliance with the regulatory standards by offering conference auditing and reporting structures for the IT environment. You can uh, visit this website and have a download of uh, this particular one, Log Management Analysis, XPLG. Okay, so you can have uh, a demo download. So already I have uh, a copy of uh, this particular version. So xp log so center setup so what i am going to do i'll just install this one okay i run this with all the default options so remember uh, this is uh, uh, meets the security policies okay uh, so i'll uh, give the default option as next with all uh, yes next where would you like to create the product icons? That's okay. Install. Okay, so the installation is done. So this is the main menu of this particular uh, uh, I mean, localhost. It has launched on the browser, localhost column. 3033303 is the port. And uh, you have all this uh, I mean, what we call as the center suite, which has been launched on the uh, browser itself. Okay. And uh, it's collecting all the information now. It will take a minute time. So, if you know the host, you can get the host. Otherwise, uh, we can verify the uh, CMD IP config. So, which will redirect to your mail server basically. So, this is my 1.41 is my IP address. So I will give that and your email address maybe you can give for all information just the same. Okay, so this is the quick uh, start wizard. So I can, uh, you see this, this is the summary of the activities. I am just clicking this log wizard, log viewer, log monitor, reports, analytics okay i am selecting this log viewer so in this uh, i am uh, selecting this windows uh, event logs maybe application you can see these are all the application logs which are there if you want uh, security logs i mean all your log on log on or log off activities you can see here all this uh, are being recorded okay and the system log system log activities which are there So uh, this is about this Windows event logs. Maybe you can even go to analytics. Uh, this will show the representation of uh, the total summary of all the logs and analytics which are there. Okay. So that's all about this in uh, XPO log. Well, let us move on with the third one, which is uh, uh, which is event reporter. So here in this event reporter. Uh, viewing event logs using uh, Kiwi 
I mean uh, syslog server tool. Kiwi syslog server tool is Windows based syslog server. It offers a solution for receiving, logging, displaying, alerting and forwarding syslog and SNMP trap messages from uh, network devices. Uh, you can download this from eventreporter.com uh, slash EA download. So we can go to uh, I mean this particular one. Uh, the current one and the previous ones also are available event report so I have already downloaded this particular uh, tool event reporter I'll just install this one okay uh, so next I accept the terms next complete install straight install give all the default options okay finish so this is the uh, main menu, you can select the language and say start. So this is the uh, trial uh, software, okay, if you want license, you can make use of this license. Okay, uh, let us install this uh, Kiwi uh, syslog server from SolarWinds. So you can run uh, this uh, evaluation setup, you can say I agree as a service or as an application okay i can run it as an application so web access also if you want web access we can otherwise not required okay so for the web access we have this 8088 port and uh, for the especially for the web access Okay, the installation is complete. Thank you. Okay, so continue with evaluation. You can see this is the main uh, for when for uh, Kiwi syslog server. What you can do is uh, see the options. So this is about this uh, Kiwi syslog server. I will also show uh, the other one. So once you start the event reporter, uh, automatically the alert should go to Kiwi syslog server once you configure the IP address and all the other things. So that's all about this uh, Kiwi syslog uh, server and event viewer. Okay, uh, thank you. Bye.